They change destinies. Ready to go? And make the impossible real. Find the physio. For people with low vision or blindness. Good boy. They're the constant companions who transform their lives. Very nice. This is the story of one of Australia's most trusted charities. Yeah. Quentin, you're ready to go, buddy. And the dedicated animals they nurture for a vital role. Good boy, hello. Welcome to the extraordinary world of guide dogs. On this episode, it's time to hit the big smoke. Let's go to wait. Cody's doing really well at just navigating the environment. To see how our trainee guide dogs cope with all the distractions, big and small. Yes, go Wee bye! It's a big wide world for any brand new puppy. Ready? When you're a pup destined to be a guide dog, there's lots. Oh, good boy. And sit. And lots. What's this? Ah, oh, good boy. And lots to learn. That is perfect. Good boy, Lenny. That's the one. Let's go. Good girl, Susan. After a few months of hard work and diligent study, the trainees are almost ready to graduate as working guide dogs. Here we go. You guys are so good and have just a few lessons left. Good girls, let's go. In Sydney, guide dog trainer Chelsea is up and out early to start the day schooling. A day in the life of a guide dog trainer involves picking up our dogs and taking them out to different training locations. Good morning. Good girl. Today we're gonna go and pick up Winnie and Eric. All right, see you later guys. Bye. Come on, Win. Our home boarders are amazing volunteers who look after our dogs while they're still in their training. So instead of the dogs living at the guide dog centre during the whole period of their training, we place them into volunteers' homes so they can live with families and hang out with them on the weekends and in the evenings. Good morning, dogs. Sit. Good. Our dogs get to spend more time with people, people get to spend more time with dogs, and we place our dogs with them, pick them up and take them out and train them each day, and our volunteers get to enjoy them the rest of the time. Straight on. Forward. Good girl, straight on. The first class for Winnie today... Find the escalator. ...is a train station. Find the escalator. It's definitely a lot of teamwork involved in guide dog mobility because they're not a GPS. Good, good girl. On you get. They can't read our minds, they don't know where we want them to go. So it's a matter of us working with the dog and the dog working with us for us to be able to get to where we want to go. Off. Every dog is completely different. It's one of the things that I love most about my job is learning about the individual dog that's in front of me. Find the right, find the doors. So every dog's training will be different as well. Winnie, forward. Good girl, find a seat. Winnie is a lot of fun. Good girl. From the moment I met her, I called dibs on her. I said, this is my dog and sorry to my training partner, but I want to train this dog. Win. I had to pick the seat next to the sandwich. Hey? Winnie is super alert, especially when a neighbour unwraps a tempting sandwich. Today, Winnie's keen senses will be bombarded with many more distractions. Good girl. Many of us navigate the busy sights and sounds of the city and suburbs every day without even thinking about them. It's important that Winnie can help her future handler do the same. Find the crossing. Good girl, straight on. Focus is all important for guide dogs. And having been star pupil out on the street, it's time to put Winnie's concentration to the ultimate test. 
So we're taking Winnie to a local pet stock. It's a great place to proof known behaviours. Left. So Winnie is coming to the end of the training. She knows what to do. So we're going to increase the level of distraction around her. Find left. That's it. Good girl. The trainers are looking for the tiniest and most subtle signs. A head turn here. A pause there. Winnie, right. Good girl. They tell them what the dog needs to work on. Steady. Find right. Find right, Winnie. Katie appears completely unfazed, but Winnie's a little uncertain. Forward. Winnie. Yes, good girl. This is a great example of why the dogs are exposed to as many situations as possible during their training, to find out what they need to work on and make sure there are no surprises when dogs like Winnie go on to their handler. Good girl. Class is over for Winnie and it's time for Eric to show what he can do. Good, good boy, straight on. Eric is a funny boy. Eric, find left. Yes. Winnie's a lot more independent than Eric and Eric just really loves being with his people. Find left. Good, good boy. My favourite thing about Eric is watching him walk. He tends to walk with a bit of swagger. Straight on. Good boy, find the counter. And he just loves being told that he's a good boy. Find the counter. Oh, he do be cheeky. Good boy. Knowing the dog's different personalities is a crucial part of the matching process every dog goes through to make sure they go on to work with their perfect partner. Good boy, straight on. Next, a very special mode of transport for Chelsea and Eric. Fine right, good girl. Trainers Mark and Kirsten have come along to help out with Winnie and another guide dog in training, Hope. Good girl. This is something that we'll typically do towards the end of our training. It's time for the dogs to get their sea legs on a ferry. We want to get them used to going on all different types of public transport, so we'll catch a train and we'll jump on the ferry as well. At this stage, we really like to mimic real life training scenarios, and that just prepares them for big outings with the handlers. In Melbourne. Straight on, Purdy, concentrate. Guide dog Purdy is reaching the end of her training and is about to be put through her final blindfold assessment by trainer Cassie, with fellow trainer Jessie assisting. The trainer will put a blindfold on or block out glasses. It's a good way to test what the dog knows and if you've taught them the skills and a good way to, to put yourself in the shoes of a client who obviously doesn't have the option to take the blindfold off. All right, forward. Good girl, good girl, find the way in. Good girl, Purdy, find the way. That's it. It is a bit nerve-wracking, yeah. You get a bit used to it, but each dog walks differently. You've got fast dogs, slow dogs. Most guide dog trainers will say, you just have to trust your dog. I trust Purdy. <laughs> Steady. Passing a lot of different things that could distract a lot of dogs. There's a lot of people. And there's noises and smells and sounds in the city. And Purdy's doing really well at just navigating the environment, ignoring all of those distractions and keeping her focus on the task at hand. Good girl, find the way in. Good girl, find the way out. Successfully coping with the sensory overload from a perfume department. Good girl, find straight. Navigating road crossings Find the lift. And elevators, things seem to be going well for Purdy. Good girl. Steps. Good girl, find steps. Purdy has walked right past the steps. So Purdy has just missed the steps that I had asked her to find. And whilst that's less than ideal, it's an important note of what we could work on with Purdy. So just ensuring that that drive to the steps is solid. Yep. Purdy. 
so that when she is placed with the client that these things That's don't it. happen. That's it, nice. That's it, good girl, fine steps. Good girl. That's it. Good. Step. Good girl, step. Good Beautiful. Girl. Good girl, Patty. Good girl, forward. That's it. And we're back on track. I'll keep going straight on. One last graduation surprise for Purdy. She's going out for a walk to show off her skills to the couple who raised her for her first few months. It's a wonderful thing for our puppy raisers to be able to see their hard work kind of come to fruition. Good girl, Purdy. They would have seen her since she was a little puppy just playing around and she is now a fully grown dog ready to go off into the big wide world as a guide dog. They get to proudly watch from a discreet distance before an emotional reunion. Who is it? <laughs> Come on! Lovely girl. Hello. 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 Hello some relief over the hard work that you've put Thank in. You. She's lost a bit of her curl. <laughs> they just get you with the heart. You just love them forever. It can be quite sad. Um, you've bonded with the dog over five months and they've bonded with you and there's a lot of uncertainties. It's always a bit emotional, but it really is gratifying to know that, that they're going on to someone that, that really needs them and, and wants them. And I enjoy it a lot, but it is, it is hard. I've shed a few tears over the years. <laughs> she'll be terrific and she'll do a great job and I'm sure um, the lady will have many years of happiness with her. OK, come on. Oh, it's a good girl. Next time on Born to Lead. I woke up, had back pain. I ended up at that stage completely blind. Come on. Let's go. It's a massive day for Purdy. She's getting placed with her client Nicole today. Training's over. Hello! <laughs> but will this be a perfect yeah, match? Here I'm tearing up. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.